They could hear you on the first floor. I would tell you that berating clients is bad for business, but that would imply we have any business. Sorry, we had a setback. Oh, maybe I can help brainstorm a solution. Perhaps bring a fresh perspective. We're that fine. That would be great. Right. Of course. Don't worry. We'll find a rabbit to pull here. Put all this behind you. But I want them to admit that what they did was wrong. Not just wrong, but disrespectful. Mercenary turpitude. I'm sorry, Sam, but... That kind of admission just doesn't happen in the real world. Eh? Certainly not in the world of corporate America. Yes, they might take a hit from the jury, but they also might not. At least this way, you're guaranteed something. And after they pay you five million dollars, Bay West is going to think twice about trying to silence another reporter. I see your point. So you'll take it? Do I have a choice? Of course you have a choice. Sam, you were wrong. The station forced you out. We all know that. And by allowing them to get away with it, we are allowing corporate greed to roll over journalistic ethics, to neuter the First Amendment. You need to stand up for what is right. But there is a cost to that. Yes, to your conscience. Sleepless nights and anxious mornings when the reality of your mistakes plague you the most, when you realize that you've compromised your principles, that you've done the wrong thing. Believe me when I tell you, Living with regret is much harder than living with defeat. You've come this far. If you settle now, I'm afraid you lose something far worse than a trial. He's right. I know it. No deal. I'll go tell Matt. Well, there are still some paintings I can sell. Some bills we can defer payment on. Maybe by six months, maybe a little less. You're not alone in this, Dad. Why are you smiling? It's just nice to hear you call me Dad. Hey, Matt. What are you doing here? I heard Keith got my old office. That's just an unacceptable situation. And so is Posner Klein. At least that's what it's turned out to be. So you're... Well, you're always going on about how your dad says this place is about uh, making up for past mistakes. I thought I'd give that a try. <laughs> Not to rain on your parade, but has anyone actually offered you a job here? How would you like to have a job here? Well, Not to sound ungrateful, but we can't even afford to pay you minimum wage. Ah, uh, no. Take Stone's name off the door, or we'll call it even. <laughs> Nice try. Um, you were right. I want to show the little uh, doubt or doubt at what it means to stand up for the things you care about. She's going to be very lucky to have you as a dad. She. I couldn't help it when I went to the doctor the other day. I just, I had to know. I hope you're not mad. No, I'm not mad. I'm having a girl. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs>